Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Quest Monsters, The Dark Prince. Ah, oh, we've got ourselves a Western Dragon Quest Monsters for the first time in an incredibly long time. It's brand new, and we get to explore a fairly interesting character from Dragon Quest IV, Sorrow, his past. I'm very curious to see if this builds up into who he becomes in 4, or if this is an alternate universe version in which he does not become the same Sorrow. Who knows? There's only one thing we know, and that is that I am starting the game. Mm -hmm. We are, of course, Krill. Thus, we are now an alternate universe uh, Sorrow anyway, but who gives a fuck? Of course, if you all are really enjoying this and you want to see this at a faster pace, I am streaming this game as well on Mondays and Tuesdays. Uh, and those videos will then go up on the VODs channel on Tuesday night and Wednesday night. <sighs> of course, I also streamed this the day it came out on December 1st, so you've got some things to uh, catch up on if you are interested. And now we have about, looks like, 15 minutes of cutscenes. So, <laughs> I hope you all are ready. Uh, and I love the fact that the slime in the bottom corner for the loading screen, he changes color every time he comes up. So, that's fun. <sighs> all right. And camera. Good old Akira Toriyama. Hang about. This is love his human work. Gory art. Help me get him inside. Like this is just the classic crew, you know, for all of this. Goichi, Sugiyama, just all of it. You know, it's gonna be good. So, if he's no ordinary human, what's he supposed to be? He is none other than Randolfo the Tyrant's son, a prince amongst us monster folk. Randolfo's son? But he looks like any other human. They say Randolfo had a child with a human woman, but the boy's whereabouts were unknown. But what would he be doing here in Nadiria now? Well, it's such an interesting story, and I kind of really like the way they set up everything for this, so I can't wait to see how it goes. There you are, darling. Have those bullies been picking on you again? But you're tougher than anyone, Your Highness. Why not show the moves, boss, next time? No, Glupert. Listen carefully. No matter what happens, you are not to lay a finger on a human. You are not like them. And that means you have to try twice as hard as anyone else to be human, if not harder. And of course, you have to have a sad origin story, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. 
You're the one what moved into that little hut in the woods, ain't ya? You? you sneaky rotter. Hey, stop that! Oh, what do you want, Evan? I suppose you think you're some kind of hero wanting to protect this idiot. Ow! That hurts! Are you all right there? <laughs> I guess neither of us is much of a hero. Strong. And what did it mean, monster kind royalty? <laughs> Just let us explain. But no. We don't get to. Instead, we get the mob! destiny. My darling boy, please embrace your humanity. Your humanity! Your father rules over Nadiria, but that is not your concern. Just please, whatever you do, stay away from him. I beg you. I beg you. Lady Miriam! Oh. oh. Thankfully, she's just snoozing. Just snoozing. Where are you going, Your Highness? Nadiria? <laughs> Don't goo, Your Highness. Go Don't back. goo. I am gooing. One goo or another goo is what he says. Ah, I see you're awake. I know you've come a long way, but you'd best give up on your plan to see your father. Not 
interested in my warning, I see. She's come all this way alone. Impressive. Though I wouldn't expect any less from one of your sons, Rantolfo, my lord. Tell me, boy of mine. Why do you return to the underworld? Why? From which you are an outcast. <laughs> you intend to take arms against me? Very well. Allow me to show you exactly where you stand. Very well. You are now cursed, unable to harm creatures of monster blood. That should deter you from returning here. Now prepare to be sent to the end of time itself! Globo Oscuro! So you are here, progeny of human and monster. I am the one who sees all. I am sorry to tell you that your mother passed a short while ago. Henceforth, you will do as she wished and live your life as a human. I shall remove the monster blood that courses through your veins for you. Why do you resist? Hmm. I see. So you would have your revenge by deposing him and taking his title as master of monster kind. For this, you will require the strength of a monster, no doubt. Very well. You are the master of your own destiny. I am indeed the master of my own destiny. You can't tell me what to do, you gold gilded dragon. This is a story off heard, but yet untold, a tale made new in the telling. Yes. Yes, it is. The Dark Prince. The Prince of Pain. Ba 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 ba. We're still not done with uh, exposition. Wakey wakey lad. Though we're close to actually being able to play again, so. And it's still gonna be a lot of like exposition and things. Like we're barely gonna get through the tutorial today, it's honestly. Me, Royston. You were mourning and groaning a fair bit, but dreams are take it. Aye, sir. Monty asked about you, by the way. Let's go see him when he get the chance. Oh, Monty, eh? All right, time to play. 
Well, you'll be busy looking for a way to ungo your curse again today, your highness. I'm not complaining, but I wish you had more slime to hang out with me. Yeet the items! Anything else in here? No. Alright. But, uh, you know, I know some of you have played the demo and got very far. I know some of you have done other things. Uh, may have already jumped super far ahead in the story. Try not to spoil things in chat for either me or anybody else who's just watching this for the first time. But if you've got advice, it'd be like, hey, uh, I've got an idea for when you get a chance to breed with somebody, you know. Uh, you can, like, give monster name suggestions for breeding. Like, oh, breed these two things together. Or, oh, hey, um... You know, try to get one of these monsters. It's a good one. But don't be like, oh my god, this thing's the most OP piece of shit in the world. You gotta get it, or else you're gonna die. You can still give me advice to go get something like that, but... Don't be all like, it's the most overpowered thing you've ever seen. We'll find that out ourselves. Bit by bit, you know? So let us make those determinations, but give us the advice on who you think we should breed and get. That's all. Come on, Monty. How do? Oh, there you are, lad. Well, I'm sure you know why I'm so eager to see you. That's right. I want to talk about that curse of yours, the one that stops you from harming monsters. Now you've been burning the midnight oil, researching ways to rid yourself of it. We've got you to thank for that magic barrier protecting Rosehill from human folk and wild monsters. Everyone in the village is grateful to you, lad, to think you just wandered in lost one day. Now you're like family, but truth be told, we're no closer to finding a cure for your curse than the day you came. Which is why I think it's time to try a new approach. That approach is, uh, hold on a minute. Where did I put my blessed notes? More exposition. Hey, what's all this? Hey. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Ah! Monsters! Monsters in village! <laughs> so this is the village he's hiding in. So your blighters are back again, are you? Oh, I'm not stunned for it. This one's no pushover. <laughs> you really think you stand a chance against us? We know, Royston. It's your lucky day. A certain important someone wants a word with you. Uh, what? What the? 
I do enjoy the fact of how they set it up for us to, um... Right, my darlings. Kindly let these monkey uh, monsters know Be a I'm monster tamer, welcome. even though you are sorrow an incredibly powerful person. You're cursed, you cannot harm monsters. Curse you! We'll be back, and next time, you'll be coming with us! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not hurt, are you, lad? Good. 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 I'm just glad I made it in time. Why didn't you suggest this I earlier, mate? I'm having unwelcome guests again. <laughs> but I just didn't expect them quite so soon. Quite so soon. Hmm? You're keen to know who these monsters are? <laughs> well, I'll tell you all about it later. I'll tell you all about first it First things first, we need to tend to the injured. And I've got just the monster for the job. This way. Now, lad, where were we? As I'm sure you know, this isn't the first time monsters have come to the village hoping to find you. We've all banded together and fought them off, but each time they come back stronger. We can't hold them off forever. Stronger and stronger. No, you're going to have to learn to protect yourself, lad. You're going to have to become a monster, a monster wrangler. wrangler. Do you know what one of them is? No, please explain it to me, good sir. Well, no shame in it, lad. <laughs> Especially seeing how we've done our level best to keep you well away from that sort of thing. I speak of the mighty gladiators who marshal their monstrous troops in battle. I just know you'll be a natural, lad. After all, it's in your blood. Why don't I get you started with one of my little lot? I'll ask you a few questions, and I'm sure we'll be able to pair you up with the perfect monster. Would you say you prefer lovable monsters to more rugged types? Hmm, I'll take a lovable. And do you like more compact monsters? Yes. Hmm, very interesting indeed. I reckon the perfect match for you is... We've already looked at what all the different monsters are, so if you want to see those, look for the first stream, I'm which sure went up on December 2nd. Famously. We're gonna go for the Frank Bob, because he's a cutie. Treat him well, won't you, lad? Of course. We're gonna take the Frank Bob. Accidentally added a space, but that's okay. Oh, <laughs> looks like they've taken a shine to you. Now it's time. Yeah, yeah. ABC is a monster wrangling. Blah blah blah. Though we're still probably got like a lot more of exposition coming up, so we'll probably get through just finding our monster and then exploring the tutorial area. Might be all we do today. That's okay. It'll be quicker. But also, like, fixing the mistakes I did in, uh, stream. Now then, let's turn you into a monster wrangler. We'll start with the basics. A monster wrangler's job is to train up their monsters to be good and strong. Lights! Camera! Hey, did you, did you say some alarm? Nope. That's odd. Could have sworn I heard someone. Action! I'm here to make you a star. Action! Who are you? 
I still don't know what monster this is supposed to be. And I could smell you a mile off. You're a natural, kiddo. I can see it now. Workshop your skills with me, and you'll have your name up in lights in no time. Blimey, Nora. I see you're still as daft as a brush, Fizzy. Monty! It's been a while, but it's never too late. I'm all ears if you ever want to make a comeback. Right. Fizzy here may be a rubbin, but she's a first-rate instructor rummin. monster wranglers. I reckon I can leave you in her more than capable hands. Okay. Right. I'm gonna head back to the shop. Drop by once you've finished your training. It's All right, babe. Are you ready to shine? I'm always ready to shine. Lesson one. The basics. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're so gloopy and cute. Not that one though. Do you see those? Yeah, yeah. This is it, doll. Audition. All right, I'm skipping fizzy. So, there's something to keep in mind here as we go through, and that's, well, seasons. But we'll get to those as we go. Ah, yeah. oh, I can't do that yet, damn it. Now. I love his evil. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Got ourselves a slime. You scouted a monster already? Mm -hmm. We would have gotten a tutorial after we fought to then uh, learn how to fight. Just look at those gorgeous flowers. Yep. But you know, the times they are a changing. Yep. Now it's summer. All right, I'm just gonna. So, we have seasons in this game, in which, uh, right now we're in a tutorial, so the seasons are all static. They won't change until we get to a certain point. But, um... Each season has its own unique properties for the map that you're on. Yeah. And that's something to keep in mind. So you can access areas that you normally wouldn't be able to, based on the season. Uh, here's something I dislike. When you irritate a monster, you deal less scout damage to them because they're unhappy with you. I can't believe that they uh, added that in. Annoying. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. on this map does nothing special. Summer on this map gives you vines that you can climb. And the nice thing is, is the map will actually tell you the different things you can climb and shit. Now this monster, I don't recall it in a, uh, a previous Dragon Quest game. Is it in a previous one? Nice. You're one of us now. I don't recognize it, is all. Vegan Dragora. I failed a 
69.6%! Fuck! Uh, me screaming fuck is gonna be a very common occurrence as I get very angry at this game because I can't kill monsters. <laughs> Fuck! Join me, you bun bun dum dum. Now. I will destroy you. I feel better. Not really. I'm still very angry. Oh well. As I said, the big thing about this game is I don't know. Uh. I haven't gotten too far, obviously. I've only played five hours of the game so far. Like I said, that video is... Well, as of the time of me recording, not up yet, but as the time of it being released, it is up. But, um... Yeah. Uh, Soothsayer. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see what I managed to do on my very first touch of this in learning, go ahead. Go check it out. Uh, but for now, yeah. We want to scout a bunch of monsters. I got an idea of who I want on our party. I was gonna say, if I failed this coin flip, I was gonna be very up spaghetti. Alright, you're the last monster I need to get of this area of the summer. But yeah, one thing we're gonna have to really pay attention to is seasons and day night cycles. Now, which is altogether a headache. <laughs> But we'll figure it out as we go. You're one of us now. I'm very curious how all this is gonna go, but I'm very excited as well. So. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Handy heal. So, I'm just trying to think what I want to do, really. Like I said, we're not going to make a ton of progress here. I'll obviously be doing lots of grinding off camera, trying not to progress anything. Just so that we can make constant progress without me having to be like, oh man, I gotta go do this, I gotta do this. We might try to catch, like, more monsters off as well, just to get them in our parties and shit. I don't know what we'll end up doing. <laughs> it's gonna be very fluid. I'll try to do a lot of the uh, monotonous, boring things off camera so that you don't have to sit here watching. But also, it's stuff we still gotta do regardless, so whatever. Summer turns to fall. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, 
Caught him already. You'll find heaps of leaves all over the place in this time. Yep. What say we regroup at the big waterfall? Yep, yep. So, uh, like I said, right now the seasons are changing on their own. But normally they'll change as you're just playing the game. I haven't actually timed it. I've just had a, a rough guesstimate from what I've seen. And I think it's about a five minute per season cycle. Could be longer, because as I said, I don't time it and I'm a constantly in fights. So if someone happens to know how long the seasons are, like, you know, don't mind giving me that piece of information. I'll eventually figure it out myself anyway. Uh, yeah, give me a heartbreaker. And all of that just sizz. I know I should be catching them, but I'm also looking to get that EXP for more damage. More damage means easier to recruit these monsters, so... Ba -ba -ba -ba! You failed, you Wobergine! Man, we're definitely not gonna get through the entire <laughs> tutorial. And you know what? That's the way that the cookie crumbles. Hey, that's free. Yeah, sure. Join me, Mr. Wobergine. I didn't even have that happen last night. So that's cool. The first freely recruited monster was here for y'all folks. Congrats! That right there is a monster I want to get on our team. The big clucker. Don't you think that would give you a splitting headache? <laughs> splitting between you and your friend? Ha ha ha! I made the same dumb joke last night. And I don't regret it! Sometimes it's so hard to decide who you want on your team. Especially when there's so many new monsters and full, cool, fun monsters and all that. And you're just like, man, what do I want? Who do I want? I don't know. And ain't that that solid truth? I don't know. And I'll admit, I have one thing I'm really bad at doing and that is creating a backup reserve team. My reserve team's just usually monsters that I just need quickly leveled up that I don't want to throw on my main team for uh, synthesis purposes. Come here, ya fat chicken. Now, now. Thirty-three percent. One and three. Come on. Damn it. He's gonna throw his weight around, guys. Be careful. He used the ass attack. 
He used Slime Squisher on a non-slime. Good job. I wonder how the skills synthesis and shit will go. If there is even that. Because the skills are different now. A lot of them are different. Some are the same, some are different. It's one of those just like... Who knows? Right. Do I want to use this B? Starts at 6%, okay. Fuck! Well, it happens. It was the hardest one for me to catch last night, too, funnily enough. Sheesh. I do want him on our squad. He is a thick boy. Hey! Let's go. So I guess using the meat was worth it. Cause then we got experience plus he joined us. <sighs> Why is the stump chump attack so high? Honestly, I'm gonna switch you to the clown, I think. <sighs> but the rabbit's still better than the bantamweight. I honestly thought bantamweight was... better than our monsters, but maybe he's not. I mean, like, his Hulk ability... I guess it only gives him a couple of stronger moves. I mean, I could get him an attack plus eight pretty quickly. I mean, the only thing you really have going for you is that, but your your health is so good. Increased damage inflicted when health is underneath. Return a quarter of damage. Interesting.
Big bully. Huh. All right, Bunnicorn, you are officially better than Bantamweight. Honestly, shocked. I'm gonna have to spend some time actually reading all their stats and shit. I didn't realize I could even look at their traits. Which, to be honest, I didn't know most of the monsters' traits in this game because, well, I generally don't pay attention to them. I look for like one or two specific traits each time. All right then, I guess. Oh shit, time flew by. I didn't realize we're out of time. <laughs> Look You're at one that. of us now. Yo, one of us now. All right. Zam, Zam -o. Monster info. Uh, I will add you to the squad and yeet him out. Zam is a good spell, you know, and that shit. But, um, yeah, I think. This is where we are going to be calling it for the day. And, um... All that shit. And we'll pick it up again on Thursday. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody. Stay funky people.